Let's go first of all to Facebook. So I'm just typing in here facebook.com <clears throat> and it's immediately gone through to my Facebook page at Jen Mackay. What I've set up here though is a persona called Isaiah Swarm. So I'm going to do a search for Isaiah Swarm and already it has come up with one for people and one for pages. Now Isaiah Swarm is the persona that I've set up so you can be friends with Isaiah Swarm. In a sense what I'm thinking is Isaiah Swarm is really the online community that makes this film. So it's, it's a number of different people but it is a single persona on Facebook. But I've created a page called About Isaiah Swarm as well. So I've managed to get uh, 32 people to like this page, which means now I can get into the analytics of the swarm, which is going to be very useful for the research. But in this page, you can see there's also the events that are happening. Now, there are five major events that are happening. And they will be happening during the week of the 10th of June through to the 14th of June. Now, each morning at 10 a.m. Uh, UK time, there will be a group meeting of the swarm, as it were, in the air building at Falmouth University. There's going to be five sessions and they're going to be talking and discussing about the ideas for the, the film, realising those ideas, filming those ideas, editing those ideas, and then finishing off. So each morning we're going to be looking at a different aspect of the filmmaking process. So please, uh, if you can't actually make it physically to the building, you can join the conference, and the way that you can join that is to actually go to the website called swarmtv.org, so swarmtv.org and if you just type that in and go to that address this is a, a website as I said that is designed for interactive collaborative thinking and on there is the video conference page so these will be streams so the major one will probably be the stream from UK to Australia or from Australia to the UK. So there's a two-way stream that other people can look into. And here down at the bottom, they, these would be individual streams that maybe people could put on the page if they want to join in the conference as a video. So let's go back to the page about Isaiah Swarm. Also, there will be a, a, like a trail of what is actually happening. Now, that probably Facebook isn't the most well-known place for doing that, so we've also integrated it into Twitter. So twitter.com is the other place where people will get notified about what is happening on, on the project. It's gone immediately to the Isaiah Swarm profile page. And so if you do go to twitter.com, just do a search for Isaiah Swarm and then you'll be able to follow it and uh, see, see what is happening as it happens. Okay, the last social media site then is YouTube. So youtube.com. Now this is going to be quite important for people to upload videos. I'm going to be uploading the videos from Australia to this account. And I'm going to make sure it's under a Creative Commons license. Again, I won't go into how to do that here now. But um, it's basically when you upload it, you can say what kind of license you give it. And instead of giving the standard YouTube license, you can give it a Creative Commons license. And that's the one where, which means that other people can reuse it uh, without worrying about copyright. As long as it's for, not for commercial reasons, apparently. So here, here we are in YouTube. I happen to know that a friend of mine, Pete Langford, has uh, already uploaded a video under Creative Commons license. And so I'm going to track this down. Here's, here's the films that he's done. And down here, towards the bottom, there's a film called Smoke and Mirrors. Let's go into that. 
Here's the film. Let's, let's go past the initial intro. It's a lovely film, but we, we happen to be able to use this if we needed to. Let's stop, stop this for the moment. And the way that we can use this is we can get this to go onto the Swarm TV website. So if you go to the top, the URL, there's a little reference code at the top. Let's, let's have a look, quick look at that. Z underscore three MN and so on. If I copy that to my clipboard, and then go into Swarm TV. So I'm just going to the website there, swarmtv.org. That'll take us to the home page. And on the home page, there is actually a link to a page called Interesting YouTube Videos. Here's the page. Uh, there's one YouTube video there already. Let's let's see how we can incorporate. Uh, Pete's video on this page. So basically you double click into a space, a box comes up and in here let's type in the way in which we get the video to stay on this page. So we've got square bracket, square bracket, type in YouTube, all lowercase, then colon, colon, so two colons, the reference number which is still on, on my clipboard and there it is, Z underscore three, and so on. And then finish it off with two square brackets. So when I submit that, that now brings the Smoke and Mirrors video onto this page, and you can treat it like a normal YouTube video. Just click play, it starts playing, and you can full screen it as well, just as you would be able to on, on YouTube. Now, just, uh, just so that you know how this website works, I want to take you through how you create your own page. Let's go back to the home page here. And there is actually a tutorial on, on how to create your own page on the home page. Uh, it's called tutorial underscore create a new page. And if you click on that, you'll go to a page called tutorial create a new page. And we can actually create our own page here. Let's create a page called new page. So I'm typing in new page. If I surround it with square brackets, so square brackets at the end, square brackets at the beginning, the website automatically knows that I want to create a new page. And so when I submit it, that creates a link to my new page on this page. So if I was to now click on it, I will go to a page called new page. And it's as simple as that. So if you want to create your own home page where you can maybe describe yourself, put a photograph or maybe some of your images or, or videos, you can do that on your own page. Let's do that here. Now, I've actually created my own page. My page is called Jem Mackay. And by doing this same process, I put a link on this page So that when I click on Jen Mackay, I now go to a page called Jen Mackay. Let's create a, a picture of myself. So I'm going to browse onto my hard drive and find a picture of myself. Let's see, that looks reasonable, I hope. So I submit that onto the page. Here's my image on the page and I could write a little bit about myself. Um, I am the person going to Australia for this project. 
please email me if you would like to on and I'm going to create a, a little short code these uh, these square brackets indicate there's there's a little bit of kind of uh, coding going on so I, if you put in email and then double colon same same kind of style and then your email address and end the, with two square brackets, then it'll put a link so that when you click on it, it opens up your email account and you can write your email.